scope ambiguity may occur in constructions with at least two quantifiers, where one can be placed within the scope of the other in different ways. Here is an unambiguous example with two quantifiers not larger than one. With two quantifiers larger than one, however, the meaning is no longer clear. Do both students have a total of two cars? Or does each student own two cars? Because this type of ambiguity arises from the relation between quantifiers, scope ambiguity is not lexical, but structural in nature. However, only a single constituent structure is involved. For example, the sentence, every child likes a book, has one constituent structure, but two interpretations. These occur at the non-syntactic level and the question arises, do all children like the same book? or do they just like some particular book out of a set of books? So we have one constituent structure but two interpretations. One, where the universal quantifier every is within the scope of the existential quantifier, and one where we have the reverse order. The constituent structure, however, remains the same. Thus, despite its structural character, scope ambiguity is a special type based on the effects of quantification.